healthcare stocks have outperformed the bourses over the last few months. The Nifty Healthcare Index has surged nearly 20% since April this year, as compared to the 14% gain in the benchmark Nifty 50. Among the index's constituents, Glenmark Pharma, Aurobindo Pharma, Lupin, and Max Health have led the gains, zooming 39 to 55%. This turnaround comes after two years of significant underperformance. According to analysts, this is because of dissipating COVID-19-related demand and cooling margin pressures. But what has now started happening is that the base now does not include any COVID-related revenues. So now when these companies report their financials in every quarter, the, the comparables of the last year will not have any COVID-related runoffs. And therefore, what we will get to see is the organic or the real growth in the business that these companies uh, always try to deliver. The recent upstick has been driven by hospitals, while the ongoing product approvals and lower price erosion in the US are lending strength to large pharma firms, as per Dam Capital. Analysts, however, prefer domestic pharma players, which could see better margin expansion over the large US-focused firms. Meanwhile, they suggest a selective approach for hospital shares. Business In the domestic business, the domestic-focused companies increase prices of their end products every year. They will also be increasing prices this year, whereas the raw material prices will be going down. So if you think about it from an investor standpoint, the end product price is going up, but the raw material price is coming down. So the margin expansion will happen to a greater extent in the domestic business. I know that there's a lot of talk about US businesses maybe turning more interesting because price erosion is decreasing. But the fact is that there is still price erosion, right? So if, if last year, there was a 15% price deflation. This year, there may be a 5-6% price deflation. It is still a price deflation. It is not price inflation. Majority of the hospital stocks are fairly inflated valuations. So I would still buy hospitals, but I would buy, I would be very selective. That apart, diagnostic stocks remain Aditya Kemka's top bets within the healthcare space, which can see a stellar run in the next 12 to 24 months given their cheap valuations after de-rating in the last two years and strong earning growth despite rising competitive intensity. Kotak Institutional Equities also believes that the worst of pricing-led competition in diagnostics is now over. Still, it remains cautious about Dr. Lal Path Labs and Metropolis due to their high pricing differentials with online platforms. Thus, investors should selectively add hospital and diagnostic shares while sticking to branded generic and domestic market pharma players. Today, on July 21st, markets will react to the first quarter earnings of Infosys and HUL. Reliance Industries, JSW Steel, PTM and Ultratech Cement will also be in the spotlight ahead of their results. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard